Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone, to the beginning of my Tales of Symphonia playthrough. Now, to clarify, this is going to be Tales of Symphonia HD. It's the HD re-release of the game from 2003. The Chronicles, the reason it says Chronicles is because this is now being sold in the United States as a collection, along with the direct sequel to the game, which I, here, I'll grab the box, which was called Dawn of the New World. Now, I'm not, you know, going to be so crazy as to say I'm playing both games back to back. And this game, for all intents and purposes, is going to be a game that I'm going to be playing on and off during the course of downtime, meaning between other new releases that are coming out that I want to play this will be the game that's kind of like the filler content <clears throat> but not, by no means am i saying that it's not going to be entertaining or that it's not fun i'm just saying that it's an older game the game is 11 years old it's probably you're going to see the gameplay will be a little bit dated i'm okay with that i love jrpgs i grew up with them they're some of my favorite games of all time and i'm actually very much looking forward to playing tales of symphonia especially because in recent years before i ever started making videos of my gameplay, I actually played Tales of Vesperia, and I loved it. And then just last year, I played Tales of Exilia, and I loved it. And I actually also played a Tales of game on the 3DS, and I loved it. So, in that regard, I have a little bit of background. However, what I've heard is that Tales of Symphonia is actually earlier on in the series, and therefore a lot of the combat and things that became steady conventions of the series in later games are not present in this game. To which I say that's fine. You know, it is what it is. I grew up with the more traditional style games anyway before it became, oh, you can run free running around the combat field and doing stuff like that. Let's see what happens. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. Uh, one thing that I actually told the stream, because as you know, at this point I live stream as well as direct capture my playthroughs for YouTube. One thing that I am allowing during this playthrough, which I rarely allow, every once in a while I may get stuck in a part and I ask for help or whatever, but in this playthrough I said, since this is an older JRPG, it's 11 years old, there's probably going to be parts that are incredibly difficult, long-ass dungeons where you get lost, things that are going to be cryptic, things that I'm not going to be able to figure out on my own. That for this particular playthrough, I will allow people in the stream chat to help me if I need it. Meaning I'm going to still play the game the way I always do, which I consider myself kind of the Joe Average Gamer who's going to play this game from, you know, cold. I didn't research it. I don't have a strategy guide or anything with me. But if I end up getting stuck or I'm having a difficult time, or if, oh my god, the best weapon in the game is two inches from Phil's face, but it's an invisible wall, and there's no way he would know that it's there, that's the kind of stuff that I would, you know, look for help for from the stream chat. So in this playthrough in particular, you may hear me or see me asking for help only if I need it, okay? And if you're not okay with that, well, I'm sure in the past 11 years, there were several thousand people who have played this game and made videos of it, and you can go check their stuff out, all right? Without further ado, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started with Tales of Symphonia HD. No, not the Stick of Truth. Let's go ahead and let's actually use the online storage because the last time that I played a JRPG on the PS3, if you remember correctly, Kingdom Hearts HD, my my uh, entire PlayStation died and I lost all of the data. And I would not like to do that this time. <laughs> okay. Alright, so as you can see here, We've got the two different games available, the original Tales of Symphonia and the direct sequel, Dawn of the New World. We're going to start with the sequel just so I have no idea what's going on. No, we're not. We're going to start with the original classic Tales of Symphonia. There we go. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Installing game data? How long is this going to take? <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know it had to do this. Hopefully it's quick. It actually looks like it's going relatively quickly. So, here's the thing. This is kind of int an interesting time for me to be starting this game. Because I just finished playing South Park The Stick of Truth. And that was a game that played very, very much like an old school, hardcore JRPG. And it was funny because during the course of that playthrough, it's actually one of my most popular playthroughs of, of the year so far. Probably of the past two years. People are loving it. Eating it up. And 
No one seems to be complaining about the gameplay of South Park, The Stick of Truth. Even though it's the same, again, there's grinding, right? It's a, you know, it's a JRPG in every respect of the word, turn-based, yet no one complains. However, you know, any other JRPG that I play, oh, it's boring, I don't like it, it's the combat is so boring, the gameplay is so tedious, I can't take it. Really what this shows you is this. That JRPG gameplay, even though it has maybe not aged well, is not the problem. It's not the reason that Western audiences are falling out of love with JRPGs. The problem is that every JRPG is basically kind of anime style, right? And has these overdramatic stories, has these characters that are overblown, overact, a lot of real crazy long drawn out dialogue. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. But that's not really what Western audiences go for these days, you know? So for me, a game like this, Tales of Symphonia, even if it's like that, I know I'm going to enjoy it. However, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. It's not going to be to everyone's taste because things have changed. You know, back in the 90s, maybe that was cool. It's not anymore for, for Western audiences. Again, I say this all the time, that the whole mentality of... The, 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 the generation of gamers is changing while you go from generation to generation. My generation, who grew up with the older games, is much more accustomed to that kind of stuff. The new generation is like all about, oh, we need fast pace. We need tons of action. We need huge amounts of comedy and irreverence. And we need this and that. And that's really not what, at its core, the JRPG was about. Oh, shit. Look at this. Oh, shit, this is awesome. <laughs> Gee, wasn't I just saying it was going to be like anime? A nice full animated intro here. Beautiful. Very nice. Looks very nice in HD. Tales of Symphonia. Ho, 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 ho. Oh my god, skeletons. There's fucking skeletons. No. Those of you who know my history with skeletons, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh shit, we got mages, son. I'm gonna hit you with my yo-yo, bitch. Yo-yo master. Oh my god, look at that hair. Uh-oh. Who's this guy? Uh-oh. It's the classic anti-hero. We got a fairy. Holy shit! A little girl swinging a giant fucking axe. It's awesome. The jailbird. Over your lock style character. Oh shit, we got jet skis only there in the air. Excellent music, too. Come on, come on. That's right, dramatic over the shoulder pose. Oh, I can read your palms. Look, here says you have a giant cock. Oh, I smiled because of it. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Now it's snowing. It's Christmas. Hopefully they have Christmas in this game. That'd be sweet. Dramatic practice on the edge of a cliff soil. Accidentally trip and die. You ever notice that? In all these games, they always have like the hero just dramatically practices at the edge of a cliff. Like, wouldn't that be the last place you would want to practice? <laughs> you could fucking fall. Can't you just practice on a fucking level ground? Seriously. <clears throat> wow. Alright, Tales of Symphonia. New game, low game, and custom. What's custom? Oh, here we go. Message speed. We're probably... Change the text display speed. The lower the number, the faster. Alright, we want it on that. Normal difficulty, please. What do we got here? Ooh. Window configuration of colors. So we could either do like this brownish, we could do this green with blue, and we can actually do a cool washing of, it almost looks like an aqua color. Quite honestly, I think I like the green better than I like the, the beige. People are saying the game volume was very loud. Okay, thank you for telling me. I will lower that for now, and hopefully we'll, uh, you know, we'll see. What's this? Window background. Ugh, you could change them. So it's like, again, it's like washed out, checkered. I like the default, actually, I think. Most. Okay. Whoa, you can actually change everything. Look at this. 
Are you kidding me? You can manually change every color in the game. That's pretty nuts. Now I'm going to go with this one. I like the green. So volume settings. Again, what we'll do, we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> we'll see what happens with the volume. If you guys need me to adjust anything on the fly, I will. Okay. Battle controls. X is attack. Circle is text, which is your techniques. You block with, with uh, square. Menu comes up with triangle. Target change with R1. And ultimate attack is clicking R3. Okay, that's pretty basic, right? You got your voiceovers on. Skit titles are on. Switch battle auto zoom. I don't know what that means. Vibration feature on and off. I'll leave it on for now. Voice language. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it on English. However, I have been told that unfortunately in this collection, the skits, which are a major part of the Tales of series, don't have dialogue in English. And that's a bummer. I'm going to basically have to read every single skit. But it is what it is. Okay. New game. Let's do this. Change game settings. I already did. Is it going to be the same? Oh, wait. Here we go. So the skits contain a variety of fun conversations between the characters and offer hints about the game. Select title display on if you wish to see the titles of the skits. Skits can be triggered by pressing select. Yes, leave it on. Okay, here we go. Battle controls. All actions are controlled by the AI auto. Semi-auto. Defense and attack distance controls are performed automatically. Manual, all actions are controlled by the player. Well, huh. I would think, I mean, wouldn't you want it fully manual? Because if you're doing semi-auto, isn't that kind of like a cop-out? You know what I mean? I'm going to go manual, and I, I, oh, I don't know if we could change it later, but you would think manual you would want to do, right? Some people on the stream right now are saying you should do semi Semi, a lot of people are saying do semi, huh? All right, you know what? I'll do semi-auto. Everyone's saying do semi semi now, okay. The vibration, I'll leave it on. I could turn it off later if I want. Thank you for playing the Tales of series. Here's a gift for you. Obtain the Tales of the Abyss costume set. That's cool. Tales of the Abyss was the one for 3DS that I played. <clears throat> Once upon a time... There existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. Aha, the mana tree. A of war, course. however, caused this tree to wither away. I recognize this voice and actor. Hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. This guy does a lot of anime. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. Oh no. The goddess left the angels with this edict. You must wake me, for if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. But the angels overslept and the world exploded. The end. The angels bore the chosen one, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. And that marked the beginning of the regeneration of the world. Graphics look pretty sweet. <laughs> I have to say. Pretty nice, colorful, colorful palette selection. Lloyd Irving, wake up. Uh-oh. No. I'm oversleeping. Shut up. What the hell? He's asleep standing up, holding Lloyd. two buckets. <laughs> what? How do you fall asleep standing up, holding two buckets? Oh! What the hell? She hit it with an eraser. Oh, God, I skipped it by accident. Oh, Professor Rain, it, is class over? I recognize his voice too. He's another uh, famous voice actor. Never mind. Let's have someone else answer the question. Genus, how about you? Genus, huh? Nice yes, hair. Rain. Mythos, the hero, brought about the end of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. Mythos, the hero. Correct. <clears throat> Afterwards, Mythos, the hero, formed a pact with the goddess Martell. To seal away the Desions whom caused the war. Hmm. But the Desions came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. What a bunch of dicks. We covered <laughs> that in class last time, remember? When the seal <clears throat> weakens, the Desions reappear, just like they have now. I, uh, yeah, I knew that. I, I just forgot. Hmm. Today is the day of prophecy. You know who he is? 
He's Robin from Teen Titans. The voice of Robin from Teen Titans is the voice of Lloyd. Ha ha. I knew I heard the voice somewhere. It is a very <clears throat> important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martell. Now, Chosen One, Colette. Colette? Yes, she's, ma'am? She's the Chosen One? Tell us about the journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the designs. Is that the one about the vampires who fight the werewolves? Upon passing and everyone's the child's sparkly? goddess Martell, the summoned spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Is that the one about the girl from American Hustle with the big titties shooting arrows? That's a good one. <laughs> Correct. I suppose we should expect the Chosen herself to know the answer to that one. Mana depletion is the cause of the current food shortages and droughts. It is said that this occurs because the Designs consume vast amounts of mana in their human ranches. The Chosen's journey has two purposes. To revive mana, as well as defeat the Designs. This is boring. When do we get to the sex ed? Now, for the next question. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is there a hole in the wall on the left the shape of a person with two pieces of plywood hammered over it? What the hell? What? How was that? What the hell? It's what? Settle down. It would seem that the time for the oracle has come. Now settle down, children. <clears throat> I will go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here and study on your own. Understood? Yeah, like we're gonna really study when the teacher's not in the room. What a dumbass! All right, everyone, get the get the chalk. I'll go with you. Start chucking it. Start fucking pranking everyone. Here we go. Teacher's gone. No, Colette. If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we got control for the first time. Wow, he actually moves damn fast. Holy shit. Look at this dude. He runs like full speed. Here we go. What is this? Question mark. When did this hole get here? Exactly. Let's talk to some people. Let's leave everything to the professor and wait here. Yeah, enough. I don't think so. Our menu is a triangle. Here we go. Cooking. You can actually cook in this game. Hmm. I wonder if that light has something to do with the oracle. There's Colette. Let's talk to her. That light was so pretty. During class, Rain said that when the Oracle comes, the Cruxus crystal and shine in the altar shines. So that light must have been emitted by the Cruxus crystal at the temple. What the fuck? Cruxus. There's a temple that building north of the village. The professor seemed kind of nervous. Boy, but didn't I tell you as soon as the professor left that no one was going to study? No one's studying. What the hell with that stuff? we we'll do whatever we want, man. I'm leaving. I'm fucking leaving the room. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Lloyd, where are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Rain will get mad. I'm really curious to find out what really happens to Colette when she receives the Oracle. They always talk about the Chosen of Regeneration in the Day of Prophecy, but no one tells us what really happens. <clears throat> but my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. Oh, the teacher's his sister. Huh. It's research. Huh. <laughs> That's just an excuse. So, an excuse is an excuse, right? Don't be so stuffy. You're coming too, right? We're best friends after all. He's best friends with a kid half his size. <laughs> Colette, want to come along too? We always like the attractive girls coming with us. Huh? Oh, uh, okay. Cool. So where to? <sighs> where else? That light. You're directly involved in all of this. Aren't you curious? Hmm. Are you curious about it? <clears throat> of course. Okay, then I'll be curious about it, too. <laughs> See? Dwarven vow number four. Don't depend on others. Walk on your own two legs. Okay, then. Let's go to the temple. He's peeved. Not the dwarven vows again. You always use those when you need an excuse. All right, we've got our very first party. Colette and Genus join the party. When select appears, at the left edge of the screen, press select to trigger a skit. Skits contain hints about where to go next as well as offer a variety of fun chats between the characters. All right. Here 
Here we are. Here's our first skit. It'll be fine. I wonder if Rain is going to be mad at us. Don't worry. We all have to. All we have to do is get back to class before she does. But wasn't Professor Rain going to the temple too? What if we run into her? Ah, we'll be fine, probably. All right. <laughs> 